white man in boxing. Where the flare cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Woo! Make sure to check out our sponsor, Cell Phone Buyers Recyclers. They want to buy your cell phone old, broken, or you're just trying to get rid of it. You can contact them right at the number on the screen. Text or call. Also, their social media and website is in the description. Is that more convenient? If you share their social media accounts on social media, get a chance to win an iPhone. Go check them out. All right, man. Uh, Carl Frosch and Anthony Joshua is, you know, entrenched in some beef over the UK Suns, uh, British pound for pound fighters in the last 30 years. Joe Calzaghe was number two. Lennox Lewis, or not number one. Lennox Lewis was number two. Um, long story short, Anthony Joshua was number 10 and Carl Frosch didn't make the list. And instead of Carl Frosch going at the Sun Media, he went basically at AJ saying how to fuck AJ on the list. And he got beat by a fat, a fat Mexican. <laughs> so let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. So in response to all that, AJ sent him some messages, I guess on iPhone. I don't have an iPhone phone, but he, he deleted the messages that he, that he sent. So I guess on iPhone, when you send a message, you know, it's kind of like Google. Uh, Gmail, excuse me. When you send an email, you got a certain amount of time where you can delete the messages so they can't screenshot it or whatever. So I guess he was able to delete the messages. And, you know, they sent the first time he did that. Remember, um, he sent some messages to Eddie Chambers saying, talking about he was a disgrace to the black, uh, to the black race and all that shit, man. And people talking about he was hacked. No, AJ wasn't hacked. I thought he was hacked, but AJ wasn't hacked. You know, he sent messages and deleted in. Like I said before, he got a history of this and people actually, you know, you know, I'm not talking about people in the UK. You supposed to like them. And people actually, you know, think this dude is a goody two shoes. You know, you can t I just can tell when somebody fraudulent, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't have that. Uh, they don't have that six cent, you know, six cents. You know what I'm saying? To let know somebody when they fraudulent or know somebody when they genuine or, you know, know somebody when they got a scheme up. That's how people get game run on them all the time. You know what I'm saying? But I've been around the block a couple of times to know these, these fraudulent dudes, especially these fake pro-black activists out here in the world today, man. But, you know, Froch basically took time to go at um, Anthony Joshua and say how he on the list and he lost to a fat Mexican. And remember, he got a history saying, you know, Joshua and Eddie Hearn was ducking Deontay Wilder and Eddie Hearn was actually his promoter. And, um, you know, he should have, you know, probably made a gripe with not making the list. Should he be over AJ? I mean, probably not. AJ is the more popular fighter in the United Kingdom. He he a heavyweight, so that does him well. He got three different titles. He regained his titles, so he's what two time world title holder. Um, you know, Tyson Fury was number three on the list for people who want to know. A guy named Dave McKenzie. I don't really remember him. Um, Chris Eubank Senior made the list. Nigel Ben made the list, and I try to screenshot the list and put it on the screen. Um, you know, but he took chance to go at AJ. Like, dude, this dude ain't that good. And, you know, at the end of the day, he a heavyweight. Now, Carl Froch had a fantastic career, too. He had a very underrated classic fight, you know, uh, with John Pascal in the UK. You know, he beat Jermaine Taylor. That was cr a crazy win. He came from behind. He got a gift versus Anthony Durrell. And to this day, I'm going to keep saying that's a gift. Um, he did beat up Arthur Abraham, even though Abraham wasn't a savage that he was at 60. Um, and he portrayed to be in his first fight, the world box super series tournament with Jermaine Taylor. But, uh, you know, you know, but he, he had a solid career beat up Lucian Boutte lost to Andre Ward. Now, had he been able to beat up on Andre Ward, then we would have a different discussion. Um, uh, maybe this would be more comparable. And then he also, uh, beat George Gross twice. The first fight was a fishy stoppage, but I mean, it is what it is. He knocked him out the second time too, but, um, but you know, you know, he's seen. But his 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 career is complete. So it's always harder to compare a complete career to an incomplete career, because Anthony Joshua can go out there and lose to Pueb, and this this conversation is a hundred percent different. You see what I'm saying? Now nah, people people gonna say, "Oh, Frost definitely was a better fighter in retrospect." So that's why I don't really like to rate the fighters and say who they better than, who they would have beat. Let their career complete his duration and then we can have that conversation because if AJ go out there and lose to Brotsworth Puev, then I'm pretty sure everybody that's listening to this video that's subjective, that's gonna keep it real, is gonna say, hey, Carl Froch had a better career. But Froch has some 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 decent wins. You know, especially for a guy that's working at a call center and then, you know, he decided to get back into boxing. You know, AJ best win is beating up an old Vladimir Klitschko. You know? 
and beating up old men like Alexander Povetkin. You know, he did beat up Dominic Brazil. Um, you know, uh, he just, you know, lost to Andy Ruiz. You know, that's, that's, that's the biggest, that's, a, that's, a, that's the, that's the worst loss on either one of their resumes. So Carl Frosch got a, he got a point, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he should be rated above Anthony Joshua. Uh, if you take the popularity, you just look from a strictly boxing, you know, uh, pair. he's an exciting fighter. He was with the shit. He had one of the best jaws, you know, there. But then again, he didn't move up a division to prove that at 175. And that could have made his case as well. This is my humble opinion on it. You know, maybe if he would have got, you know, got Triple G in the ring and Triple G didn't try to drag him to a catchweight, maybe we having a different uh, conversation. But for AJ to be as big as he is, to be deleting some fucking messages. And then he posted a video of, of Carl Frosch interviewing him and shutting his computer. Like this some horse shit, you know, if it be that big to be deleting some messages, who going to whoop your ass in super middle way. You shouldn't be scared of, you know, maybe he's scared of the PR. Maybe he sent some shit in the message that he didn't want to get out. But my whole thing is don't tweet, don't tweet it. Don't send it. Don't post it. If you're going to take it down, I ain't taking shit down the field, you know, cock sucking, you know, punk bitch, whatever you want to call him. Man, I called you. Yeah, I said that shit. Ho, pussy, what you going to do about a Carl Frox? That's what I, you know, what, what are you going to do? But he got to protect this golden boy image that he got. And all these dudes with golden boy images, like they just talked about Jordan in episode five and six of The Last Dance. All these dudes with golden boy images, Tiger Woods and all these dudes. These dudes be the most filthiest, dirtiest people. Uh, you know, I ain't saying all of them, but they, they don't be golden boy images. And AJ trying to keep up this image of being a nice guy and being a, a cool guy. I ain't fuck up out of here. And maybe Carl Froch also struggling on, you know, how he is white, you know, white from, from the UK and the black getting more love than him. You know, I think maybe he's struggling with that a little bit. But AJ is, is very, very popular over there, man. You know? He just is. Some some people just got the popularity of gold medalists and you know what I'm saying? They just root for him. You know, Tyson Fury may be higher on the list than him, but he ain't got the fan base AJ got. If they fight, you know, Ty, AJ probably gonna be the A side. But as far as far as the whole beef going and, and, and Frost started to backtrack the statement that he made about Andy and, and said Andy is solid fighter on his podcast. And if you said it, you said it. You know, I know you didn't mean to disrespect Andy Ruiz, but come on, we all know Andy Ruiz was like the 15th best heavyweight. He got knocked out by, by him and in the rematch. He didn't go out there and, and, and try to exchange with Andy Ruiz and let Andy know that this is my ring. No, he ordered a big ass ring and he started dancing around the ring. We all know that. He didn't go out there and change nobody's perception of his chin. Nobody, he didn't change his perception of his heart. Nothing. He just changed the perception that, hey, if I stop lifting weights, I can box and show, I can box and move, and I can outbox a 300-pound heavyweight. Credit to him. You get the win every, however we want to get the win, but it ain't going to go down as no classic. And your weeds went down as a classic, and then you want to run to Saudi Arabia where most people think you can do what you want to do, and you didn't want to come back to America. You feel what I'm saying? So people are going to feel some type of way. Everybody want to ignore the the the, the, this, the the pussy quotes that AJ say. AJ going to have to beat up Fury. If he go out there and get dog walked by Fury and they do fight, people gonna perception going to change again. If Fury make him his bitch and make him quit, quit. people going to say Frosch was a better fighter. Prison Nazim Ahmed was on the list above Carl Frosch. And Frosch was a hell of a fighter, you know. Could he be on the list with some of those guys? Absolutely. But it would have helped if he would have moved up. But as far as fighter for fighter, Carl Frosch probably a better fighter, you know, just from attributes. Like, I've always said this, man. AJ ain't no skilled fighter, bro. You know, he done, he don't, he ain't one of the, the best skillful heavyweights I've seen. It's been a lot of dudes that never touched titles as better than him. Let alone they compare him to Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes will make him his bitch and put a dog collar and dog walk his ass up and down the street. Ken Norton, Shavers, you know what I'm saying? A lot of guys with a game network. Evander, Bo, Ikebachi. <laughs> keep going, David Tua. So for skill for skill, I take Carl Frotch. Man, I, I'm, not, I'm not missing no words about it. But as far as the career right now, he got the heavyweight. You know, he got you know he won his won his titles, won them back again. B. Joseph Parker, B. Vladimir Klitschko, um, you know, B. Charles Martin. But to, to me. 
Right now, the better fighter is Carl Frotch. I would put him above Carl Frotch. So what you want to say about Carl Frotch? He lost to Andre Ward. Perhaps that was the best fighter in the sport. And that's a fact. AJ lost to like the 53rd, the 555th dude in a late replacement. Carl Frotch ain't lose to a guy like that. But hey, let me know what you guys think with them going back and forth. It's kind of funny, but we all know AJ might pick Carl Frotch up by that big ass Squidward nose and, and and break it. You know, Carl Frotch better leave uh, Big Gay J alone, man. But y'all know what it is, man. Good Phillips Sports TV. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, you can reach out to me at any of the social media sites if you have a business question, quiet response, or video request, uh, or you just want to chop it up. All the links, subscription. Want to make a donation? Cash App, PayPal, in the description. Best way to donate: share, share the video one time for the one time. Good Sports TV. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We done.